What's happening, YouTube? Thank you all so much for joining me for another disc review. We are taking a look at the Dynamic Discs Agent. So the Agent was released semi-recently in the early parts of 2022, and honestly, I feel this could be Dynamic Discs' answer for the ever-so-popular P2 from Discmania. For the profile, it is a putter, so it has that blunt nose, but then also has a high shoulder to it, but a very flat flight plate. So even though it has that high shoulder, it still has a semi-deep feel, not an extremely deep feel. So even with my baby hands, I still can get a comfortable grip, particularly for throwing. Putting is a little iffy, but still, it's not an overly deep putter because it has that really flat flight plate. So I did mention the P2, and this is actually the P2 and the Agent side by side. I feel the P2 has a slightly higher shoulder and a little bit more dome to it versus the Agent has a flatter flight plate, but gosh, the profiles on these two discs are very similar. And yes, a little bit later in the video, we will have a shot comparison. All right, so now let's take a look at the flight of the Agent. And I feel this is a semi-overstable putter, particularly for us slower medium arms. For bigger arms, it's going to be a lot straighter. But for us slower arms, this is a disc that if you put on a hyzer, it's just going to hold that hyzer line. You throw it flat, it's going to hold very straight and then just have a nice predictable finish in the final part of the flight as it slows down. But once you start throwing it on those Anheuser lines, it's going to hold. It's torque resistant, so you don't have to worry about it turning over and burning. However, it is holding the lines very, very well. So once you start putting it on an Anheuser, it's just gonna hold it almost all the way to the ground. Now they do have a little bit of overstability at the very end of the flight, so if you put it on a slight Anheuser angle like this, it's gonna come out of it and it's gonna have a little bit of hyzer, but as I mentioned, if you put it on a steep Anheuser line or you just have a really fast arm speed, it's gonna hold that turn the entire way. But again, torque resistance, so you don't have to worry about it turning and burning. Now, what I like using the Agent for is those nice, simple hyzers because it's gonna hold that the entire way. Also, they have a decent amount of glide because it has that high shoulder, so a lot of air is gonna be able to get under the disc and keep it up for a long time. But also, since it has that sneaky late stability, it's good on flex lines. And because it's very torque resistant, even into a headwind, it's going to hold. It's gonna very much straighten out but it is gonna hold a very straight line and just a slight dump at the very end. Now, what about putting? Well, for the Agent, it's a very point and shoot style putter, very similar to the P2. When you're inside the circle, just aim straight at the pole, it's gonna go very straight, but then once you get outside the circle on those longer putts, it's gonna have a little bit of dump at the very end. And since the Agent does have that semi-deep feel, it has good glide for putting, so, you can still hit those long distance putts. And I want to give a huge shout out to Richie over at the Disc Golf Pro Tour for lending me his arm. He does amazing disc golf content, so I'll put a link in the description below for his channel. Be sure to go check him out. So for you bigger arms, this is what you're going to come to expect out of the agent. A very straight flight, and then again, as it slows down, just a nice fade. So even for you big arms, it has such good torque resistance that you don't have to worry about any unwanted turn. Being a fairly new release, the Agent only comes out in Dynamic Discs' classic baseline plastic. It's kind of their neutral baseline, so it has a good amount of uh, give to it, but is also fairly stiff. Now let's go ahead, take a look at the lefty lines. I promise you this, we're going to take a look at the Agent against both the P2 and also the Westside Disc Shield, as I've heard early comparisons were to the Shield. So in looking at the Agent, it had that really nice straight flight for about three quarters, and then as it slowed down, that's when it started to have that really nice trustworthy finish to it. While the Shield, which was thrown a little bit lower than the Agent, had a very similar flight, but I think just got a little bit more turn in the early part of the flight, but then still had a very comparable finish. And then you have the P2, which holds torque extremely well, like the Agent, so it holds just an incredibly straight line. However, I feel like maybe it just has a little bit more overstability at the very end. As you can see, it kind of fights off of that straight line and then just has a little bit harsher of a dump. So let's go ahead and wrap things up. The Agent is a great putter, and I'm actually surprised it's not in more players' bags, just because to me personally, it really reflects the P2, and the P2 is so wildly popular. So I think once the Agent catches on, boy is it ever, because this is a fantastic disc. 
Well, thank you all so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Also, like the video. Till next time, keep banging them chains.